Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Harish. In this video, I'm going to give you some insights on what we can do when we're caught up in a situation and how do we get out of it and uh, how we can counterattack the situation. So we will see three situations for today and if you like it, I will give you more solutions for new and new situations. But before going into that, I see that you have not subscribed to my channel if I'm not wrong. So do it right now and we'll get started. So first situation, let's talk about singles. When you are playing a rally, uh, he is tossing, you are tossing, he is smashing, you are smashing, he is keeping a drop shot, you are keeping a drop shot back. And after a certain point of time, you try to take the shuttle in the forehand back corner. You may think what is the big situation here, but the big situation is you are in out of position when you are about to take the shuttle. So what do you do? Comment below. So what I usually do is I send it back to the backhand back corner of the opponent's court because I usually have a lot of power and I managed to do that. But when the match is serious, I suggest you to try putting a cross drop shot to the forehand front corner of the opponent's court. The reason for taking this type of different decision is when you are about to take the shuttle out of position, your opponent will be in the straight line of the corner he plays the shuttle. So even when you try to lift the shuttle, he will be able to manage to finish the shuttle. So when you do like this, your opponent will definitely be confused for a moment and he will be distracted from the game. Now you can use this uh, method to try uh, creating more timing for you. The second situation is the defensive strategy. What you will say if I told you, you can stand wherever the opponent is going to hit the smash. I think I'm hearing some scoldings. So yes, the answer is yes. You can stand wherever the opponent is going to hit the smash. The secret for that is you should notice their body position. When the opponent is going to hit a smash, their body position will show you how they are hit, uh, how and where they are going to hit the smash. For example, when you compare these two for, uh, positions of hitting the smash, you will see how they vary from one another. One of, the, one of the smash is a straight smash and the other one is a cross smash. So you can see how their body positions are, are being varied. But two drawbacks from following this method is, first one, you can't use this technique in all of your defenses because once the opponent becomes aware of it, he will start hiding his posture and it will become more difficult for you. Second is, not every opponent will show his posture. So the more the opponent hides his posture, the more you should notice them carefully. The last situation for today is trusting your instinct. Many players doesn't trust their instinct and play in a rhythmic form like if they toss, we toss, if they start smashing, we start smashing, if they get confident to beat them, we get overconfident and lose the match. So the problem is you don't trust, the, trust your instinct and or uh, what you call as your gut feeling. Don't tell me you have a gut. So this instinct doesn't need to be there throughout the match beside you like your coach. It is like the uh, person who mops a coat when you dive. It comes once in a while, but you don't know when it comes. So whenever the mob guy comes, sorry, whenever the instinct comes, you just need to let it play a part for the moment. If you need examples where the instinct kicks in, watch these rallies. But, um, you've seen in the matches leading up to. And that's all for today friends i hope you enjoyed this video and learned a few things on the go make sure you like this video by the way and by doing that this video can reach more people out there you can also share this video with your friends who play badminton and get them to know about these things these points can even change the game you won't know so if you have watched this video without subscribing to my channel and that's an achievement and the reward i'm going to give you is i'm going to give you more useful videos and for that i need you to subscribe to my channel mm. And I will meet you friends in the next class with more interesting topics like I said. And until then, this is Harish. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you friends. Have a nice week. Have a wonderful week. Peace. Today's just a thought is, those times when you get up early and work hard, those times when you stay up late and you work hard, those times when you don't feel like working, you are too tired to do, you don't want to push yourself, but you do it anyway. 
that is actually the dream it's not the destination not the objective but it's the journey or the trip you take or the travel you do so make it worth it in your life